with FIFA 17 getting closer and closer, let's have a look at the top six things that FIFA need to bring back. My name is the Gaming Blake. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this kind of video. It's new for me to do. If we can hit five likes on this video, that would be fantastic. And then I might do a wish list of things that could be added in future. But today, let's get on with the first on the list, and that is online lobbies. If you don't know what on online lobbies are, um, they were basically lobbies which you could go in, you could play ranked matches and um, un unranked matches, obviously. You could play against your friends, but it was more for the purpose of playing 2v2 online, 3v3 online, where you could play with your mates and you could team up against, I don't know, random strangers who were also teaming up, or you could play against your mates. And it was so much cleaner because you could create a lobby, your friends could join, and you could decide whatever match you wanted to play and it was so much cleaner and I don't get why they ever took that away from the game because it was a popular mode at the time because obviously you could do your ranked matches you could be uh, a very popular game with that and I don't understand why you would take something as simple as that and as amazing as that away from the game it was a big part of the game so I don't understand why that's been removed personally um, that's just me but anyway we will move on to the next one Something else that really shouldn't have been taken away is FUT Trade Offers. Now, this was the best feature in the game because it opened a brand new branch for YouTube, which was named Wagering. And basically, you could put up your best players on the line and you could trade them away for bronzes at the end if you lost the game. And it opened up so many different opportunities. And FIFA obviously took it away because people saw it as cheating and people were just trading away stuff for free and it lost the value and the purpose of the game, etc, etc. The real reason was people didn't have to buy coins to get good players because they could play for it. That's the real reason behind it. They couldn't buy FIFA points, sorry, not coins because obviously they don't in endorse the selling of coins. Which of course isn't our problem, but of course you know FIFA are little cryer babies these days. And I think this would be a great feature to come back into the game because people would find Ultimate Team more entertaining. I feel this year the draft was a great inclusion, personally. I didn't play it much myself, I'm not a big Ultimate Team fan, but I think it was a big inclusion to the game and I have no doubt in my mind that people would love to see trade offers back in the game because people talk about it a lot, it could bring wagering back into it and it could bring a whole new meaning not just to YouTube but to FIFA as well. We move on to option number four. Option number four? Um, uh, bring back number four that's the better word for it and this one is co-op seasons now funny enough my brother and yeah my two brothers are downstairs right now playing FIFA 13 on the Wii and they're playing something called co-op career mode and I don't understand why you would ever take this away basically you can play downstairs they're playing it with you can play up to five players you can create your players and put them in the game and then do your career mode as well as being a manager and you can do the career of your of your team and as your player and I don't understand why you take that away that's so cool like why would you not want that and you can even expand that greater and turn it into an online co-op career mode you could do it with your mate and you could become a dual manager which would be really really sick instead of having someone to play next to you or you could do a player career mode kind of like pro clubs in a way but better because it's a career mode that you're interactive and, and engaging with your friends and I don't understand why they wouldn't have that why they wouldn't expand on that as a cool concept I know career mode isn't always as popular but that's because they don't put enough effort into career mode and I strongly feel that and the rest of these are actually pretty much um, co um no not co-op seasons um uh, career mode related so I don't see why they take that away and try and make career mode not as loved as it could be okay which brings me on to the third one which is more career mode stuff and number three is ticket sales and allocations and sponsorships. If anyone remembers the old FIFAs, you will know that you have the chance to change the ticket pricing. You had the chance to change the ticket allocation so you could have more fans and more ticket sales than your opponents in pre-seasons in particular. But of course you could do that throughout the season as well. And you could get a sponsorship from any kind of sponsor. I've shown some pictures there which you can see, and I don't understand why you would take that away, even if you kept it as basic as this in 2 FIFA 17, why would you take something like that away, it's so cool, it's customizable, it makes your career mode cooler, it adds another layer of authenticity to the game, and think of the possible uses of that, you can um, upgrade your stadium, which would look great, it would take a while to build, maybe you move into a neighbor's uh, 
uh, ground for a while and play there. Sponsors, you can get new sponsors in your kit, which could change the customizable thing for the kit. I know they're doing something with the kits this year. I'm not 100% sure what, but I know they're doing something with kits this year, and that could be an amazing feature to the game. And um, so, yeah, I, I don't understand why you can't control your tickets, and it makes a whole new layer. If you think to NBA, it is 100% customizable with ticket prices, and you can even talk about what you're selling in there, what kind of stands you have, like a hot dog stand, and you can work on that in the relocation, or you can work on that with the stadium that you're already in. And it is so cool, you can work out your profits, and that's what the, used to, the game used to do. You could work out your profits, now you can't really do that. And it's not really a franchise kind of game as such, I get what FIFA coming from there, but it can be, and it's simple things like that could, that could change the whole face of FIFA. It really, really could. I strongly believe that. Which brings me to number two, which is another one that they desperately need to bring back into career mode, which is stadium and coaching upgrades. Why was this removed? I, I, I just don't get it. Like, the game was in a great place in, in the old FIFA. So I actually really want to go and play in old FIFA now because it's incredible how good the game was. You can see the pictures here. You were able to change up your coaching staff and get new ones and better ones you could upgrade your your stadium it was incredible how could you take that away for something i don't know something minor it's incredible like you could upgrade your stadium you can watch your stadium grow as you grow from a league two side to a premiership side which i feel is really lacking in fifa at the moment and you can you can watch your staff grow and you can get better staff in if you could you could be like the owner of the club maybe you could have like an owner's mode in, and you hire maybe a new manager to step in, or you can hire a this assistant coach if you're the manager. That is something simple, again, simple, basic, and effective that you can add into the game and make it a million times better. And uh, number one is a personal favorite of mine because I loved this game mode. This is a completely different game mode, and it was lounge mode. Lounge mode was the best mode in FIFA. It was so unrealistic. It was unrealistic as hell. But you know what? It was the fun. It was fun. It was effective. It was great to play. I love playing the game. Basically, if you don't know what lounge mode is, basically you pick a team at the start, and you obviously stick with that team the whole way through. It's basically you have to play against each other, and you have to get a certain amount of points by playing each other. The one who gets the most points at the end wins. But there is always a twist to it because you had cards. These cards are these power-up cards that you could put in, and when you put them in, you had a, um, what's it called? Yeah, you had a boost of some kind, so you could put in a free goal lead, so you could have a, you start the game with free goal lead, or you could get one of their players that sent off, you can make them swap their team around with a one-star team of, that's randomized, you could do so many things, and it was so much fun to play, and it was so cool, and it's just a mini feature that if people were to add, would be fantastic. I don't understand why they took it away. I, it was time consuming maybe, but it's a fantastic game mode. I loved it to pieces and I really want to see it back. And that concludes this top six um, game modes that they game modes and features that they need to bring back into FIFA. Um, it was quite a longer video than I was expecting, but I really enjoy talking about this stuff because I'm passionate about FIFA. But FIFA is a game that I've played pretty much all my life and I want it to be better, and I feel like just with bringing these back, maybe building on them a bit, but bringing these back will definitely change the face of FIFA. Please comment if there's anything I missed, or anything you agree or disagree with. Please let me know in the comments. If we can, get, again, hit five likes, that would be incredible. I really appreciate the support, you guys. If you guys want to see a, things to add in FIFA, then please let me know, and I will get to that. But that's it for me today. Hope to see you soon. Peace.